Just to let you folks know what we're doing, uh, we are uh, lighting sage and tobacco in uh, abalone shell with an eagle feather uh, to purify ourselves and to give blessings for the songs we're about to sing. Um, I have some comments that I wrote just a little bit to introduce what, what we're here for today. And once I give the comments, Michael, I'd like to tell folks about what we're going to do with the song. Um, <laughs> again, I, uh, those of you folks who just got here, we cannot say enough uh, how grateful we are to see this incredible turnout in honor of the eagle, the female eagle that was killed Tuesday. And to see such respect and such turnout is really very humbling. Um, thank you so very much. Thank you. Uh, also, uh, for those of you who just came in, it, we wanted to say, it, when we play the songs today, it's appropriate. If you'd like to applaud, it's okay. Um, to express appreciation because we're still here on earth, even though the eagle has passed on. Uh, again, my name is Vincent Schilling, St. Regis Mohawk. The Eagle family had long decided to make the Norfolk Botanical Gardens and the Tidewater area their home. It seems appropriate that we as Native American people should pay honor to the Eagle family that resided in our midst. Myself, like many others, were deeply saddened by the loss of the female eagle, which stands for a symbol of pride for Hampton Roads. Though the female eagle has left the physical world, we wish her prayers of goodwill. She now lives in the world of the Creator and flies with joy in the skies of heaven. We also pray that the father eagle and the eaglets, which are now elsewhere, will remain safe and well cared for. I am grateful that we as Native American people that live in Virginia have had the opportunity to play honor songs to the eagle for the past two years here in the Norfolk Botanical Garden on Native American Heritage Day, which falls on the day after Thanksgiving in November. I also want to thank the administrators of the Norfolk Botanical Garden, especially Marcia Riley, who have been such a supportive force and allowed us to perform these songs of honor to the eagle. On October 30th, 2009, President Barack Obama proclaimed the day after Thanksgiving Native American Heritage Day to honor the contributions of Native Americans. November. Sorry. need to be sorry, thank you. Uh, November is Native American Heritage Month. The eagle is believed by many Native American people to be the messenger of prayers from the inhabitants of the earth to the Creator in heaven, because the eagle flies the highest. Before you leave today, I'd like it, if you can, to stop at the tree, which is the base of the tree of the eagle's nest, and place your hand on the tree and give your positive energy and goodwill towards the safety of the male ego that still resides. It makes a difference, believe me. The fact that we're all here today giving such incredible positive energy to what has happened is a true testament to the love and the ability of the people in the Hampton Roads area to show support for something that they care about. So please, let's give ourselves a hand today for showing up to this incredible event. Though the female eagle is no longer with us, Four Rivers Drum, the drum group that is here today, will still be here the day after Thanksgiving this year to play our Native American songs. So, thank you. I have asked Michael Cloud Butler, Ojibwe, to tell you folks a little bit about the songs we're going to be playing uh, and, and what they mean. Michael? Okay, he's coming in just a moment. There's that Indian time again. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my goodness, look at this. First of all, uh, in the language of the tribe that I belong to, the, uh, the Ojibwe or Anishinaabe, you may also know us by the name Chippewa. Anybody, you guys know Chippewa? Yeah. 
<coughs> oh, a few moments ago, I did uh, the first prayer around the drum to thank Shemanadu, who is the great spirit, <coughs> for all that we have out here. <coughs> so, in greeting for you all, Anin Buju Shemanadu, Nitawa Gishik and Dijinakaz, Odawa Zaga Igening in Dojaba. Migazi do dem. Makwa do dem. Ida bagasendaman. Ida mino gijigat. Aho. Now, those, those words are the Ojibwa language. And I speak those because those special spirits that listen to the Anishinaabe when we speak like the sounds of those words. And so try to use the language when we can to speak to the spirits. And those, those words that, that I offered up <coughs> bring those spirits to us. For those of you who can see spirits, <coughs> you will notice that when the drum starts playing, the eagle spirits that we are calling will be here with us. Will be on the ground surrounding us and be in among all of you. Because the eagle spirits are very, very strong here. And we've had these, these eagles growing and living and giving all of that to this piece of the, of the earth right here. <laughs> so we have many different songs that we sing as Four Rivers Drum. And the first one that we will be doing today will be, is called a Four Direction Song. And what that does is that gives us, <clears throat> it gives us sort of like the entry into the spirit of the Four Directions, <coughs> the Four Sacred Directions north, east, south, and west. All of those named by, known by special names and special things that go with each of those directions. But that's the first song that we're going to be singing. Now, as, as we go through the, uh, the list of songs, so that you will understand and hopefully uh, receive some type of uh, sort of enjoyment and knowledge about what we're doing here today, I'll speak about the rest of the songs that we're going to do, because they're all, they're all very special songs. There, there's going to be a memorial song to be sung for the female eagle that died at the beginning of the week. There will be honor songs for the eagle family, the, the, the male eagle who still is around here, you know, listening and watching and seeing what's happening at his, at his home. So, we hope that we hope that the feeling that I sense from all of you right here today, I hope that feeling grows with these songs that we sing. Uh, we are we are going to do also a pipe ceremony at the very beginning of this. Now, what that is is a prayer. For those of you who do not know anything about American Indian pipe ceremonies. The pipe ceremony is, is a prayer. When you see the pipe assembled and you see the asema or tobacco in the uh, English language, when you see that placed in the pipe, all of those things about the pipe represent something of this world. The tobacco, as you see it burned in the pipe and you see the smoke, what that does is carry that prayer that has been given and spoken that sends that to the great spirit and those eagle spirits and those beings that dwell in the in the in the sky world they carry that spirit up for us and that's one of the roles of the eagle that's one of the reasons that the american indian are so appreciative of the eagle as our guardian and as the helper and go between between shamanadu the great spirit and all of us this prayer will include everybody here. You speak to the spirit in your heart. You can speak words as we are doing this. All of those words will be heard. You intend to send the entire prayer to the great spirit and thank him for allowing us to be in the presence of these great birds. And thank him for allowing us to live in this the Ojibwe word is Kitigan, this garden. 
that we are sitting in. So, I hope everybody will enjoy this. I hope every, everybody will take something of this into their heart and take this with them. Because it is all intended as a gift. A gift that we have always been giving and sharing. Not, not so much from us, but rather from them. So, I know that all of you are here because of all that. Because there is love for this family. Myself, Migazi <coughs> Dudem, that I spoke of, means that I'm the Eagle Clan. My brother Bob here is also Eagle Clan. So this is a very, very special thing for us, to be able to come and to do a memorial song for, for this female eagle that has passed. Walked on is, is, is what we call, but in the case of sky people, flown on, flown on to the spirit land for us, where they'll be when we get there. So, we will start the pipe ceremony. And as you, as you see the pipe being passed around to the members of the drums, those are the time that prayers are being spoken within the heart, sometimes with the words, but all of, all of you have your own individual choice in, in how you do that. But they will all be heard, all of the prayer. Miigwech. Uh, I just want to tell you real quickly, thank you so very much, Michael. Um, <laughs> Two years ago, Four Rivers Drum came here and performed at the tower. It was an amazing day. Uh, I have to tell you what happened. We began playing the drum, and as we began playing the drum two years ago, uh, it was sunny. Suddenly, clouds all came over. The wind started blowing. There was a rainbow in the sky, and the eagle herself flew by, right by the tower, and landed. The, the, news, the newscaster that was there said, I couldn't have planned that better. What, what would you do? And, and uh, Bob John Rowe, true spirit of who he is, said, We told you, non-believers. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today.